Whole Foods versus Safeway in San Francisco. So today's video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this Whole Foods here, and I'm gonna walk around and I'm gonna show you guys some of the items that I normally buy. And I'm gonna show you guys some of the other items so you can get sort of a ballpark figure of the cost at this Whole Foods location. And right over here, right over here, we have a Safeway just directly across the street. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna walk in Safeway. I'm gonna find similar items that I would buy at um, Whole Foods. And I'll, we'll basically do like a price comparison. Um, I normally shop at Whole Foods about 90% of the time. Um, I do go to Safeway if I'm out past 10 p.m. because Whole Foods is closed past 10 p.m. Or if I need to buy something before 8 a.m. because Whole Foods opens at 8 a.m. Right now it's right at 8, 8 a.m. on a Sunday. So it won't be too busy inside of um, this Whole Foods right now. Um, so that's usually when I go to Safeway is when Whole Foods is not open. Or if it's something that I think I can get a better deal on at Safeway. And in my cases, that's usually not the case. But let's just see. Let's just go walk in Whole Foods first. Let's go check out Whole Foods. And then let's go over to Safeway and we will um, do a little comparison and we'll come back and uh, we'll talk about this. But I'm really stoked. I've been wanting to do this video for a while to show the difference between Whole Foods and Safeway in San Francisco. And I think the results will, will greatly surprise you guys. So uh, anyway, yo, let's get this video started. Now, this is Whole Foods, so expect to find, you know, fancy salads, $10, $10 salads and, you know, stuff like that from local fancy shops and, you know, $9.50 eggnog milk, almond milk drinks. So, yeah, you're going to find those things in Whole Foods especially, but let's keep cruising. All right, so one thing I've noticed about Whole Foods, these, uh, these bars right here, like, usually never, ever go on sale. Um, this is one thing that is really, really popular at Trader Joe's. These are much cheaper at Trader Joe's. That's one thing I, I, I got to give it on Trader Joe's. Whole Foods, these things, like, never go on sale. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so this is another one of those things I get, and I'm surprised to actually see it on sale. $11.99 for Dr. Browner's. Dr. Browner's soap is, like, legit. Um, I'm very surprised to see it on sale. It usually never ever goes on sale. I don't usually buy canned goods, but I thought that I would stop and compare like canned good prices. Um, these are just like, you know, random beans here. Okay, like tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, pasta sauce, pasta, spaghetti. Uh, some macaroni and cheese, yo. Damn, that's like super cheap. This is not the one I usually buy, but uh, this is just the, the regular mac and cheese. I usually get the one up here for five thirty nine. It never goes on sale. Every now and then it goes on sale. Okay, so like onions are like one of those little small things, but I I, I just note th these are just little like little things I'm just pointing out. Okay. Huh? How much is the garlic? Mushrooms. I always get my mushrooms from Whole Foods. And how about them potatoes? Ooh, Prime Member gets 25% off avocados. Uh, $1.16 on each. So I guess that's not bad for avocados. There's tomatoes, $1.49 a pound. The larger tomatoes, $1.99 a pound. Okay. Okay, so this is something that I always buy. These are like crazy expensive and you only get like eight in a, in a pack, but they're really, really, really freaking good. And I buy them like all the time. I don't care. I just buy them. They're freaking amazing. They're unreal, yo. All right, so this is definitely my favorite brand of cookies in Whole Foods. And it's, it's like the most expensive, <laughs> like out of all the cookies. But it's like literally the best. Like it is the best, like number one. All right, so this is uh, one thing I always get when I'm at Whole Foods. These are um, vegan chicken nuggets, and these are three ninety nine, and it's like uh, what eleven ounces, so it's not bad. And they have a lot of these like meatless meatballs for like three ninety nine. These these chickenless patties, which I've never tried for three ninety nine, they have these like tons of really really good deals. 
All right, Beyond Burgers is definitely something I'll always get here. And the base price here is $5.99. And the sausages, the base price is uh, $9.29. Not bad, not bad. I love their pickles, but I never get pickles from Whole Foods. And I also never get almond milk from Whole Foods because for some reason, I just like the flavors at Safeway a lot better. So, I mean, the prices are like legit, but I just never get almond milk from Whole Foods. All right, so this is something like, I don't know, it's sort of like a myth. It could be true, but I'm, I'm thinking that like stuff like this is much cheaper at Whole Foods versus Safeway because at Safeway like it never goes on sale. Here it never goes on sale, but I want to say that they have like m more smaller portions. So like if you need garbage bags, you can get garbage bags for like you know what uh, three forty nine instead of spending like five ninety nine like across the street. I, I could be wrong, we, we're gonna go across the street in a minute, but, but yeah, I'm just pointing this out really fast. Also something else that I never get from Whole Foods just because I don't like the, the I just don't like the style too much, is I never get like the detergents and the laundry stuff. There's just a, not a large selection versus Safeway. Safeway, there is such a large selection. It's insane, yo, like it is totally insane. Okay, so since I've been walking through Whole Foods, I'm like, just talking to my camera and talking to myself. Maybe I should buy something so I won't look sketchy. So I'm gonna get a vegan donut. These are two dollars and they don't sell anything like this at Safeway. So it's just one of those things that Whole Foods just win on. Yeah, they, they, they win once again. Get me a vegan donut, yo. So I just got done eating my donut and want to point out that Whole Foods does have a seating area with a water fountain. So that's pretty chill. It's pretty big, actually. And now let's go over to Safeway. Okay, welcome to Safeway. Hmm, at least they gotta check out yourself. Wow, I don't even see security guards in the front. Hmm, looks like they got a hot bar. Hmm, I got them some Asian food over there. Seven ninety nine a pound. If I'm not mistaken, Whole Foods was nine ninety nine a pound. Some some fried rice. This store is massive. Like it's huge. I'm lost right now. All right, let's check out the Beyond Meat. Here it's uh, $7.99. I believe at Whole Foods it was $5.99. And the sausages are $9.99 here. So it's slightly more expensive for the sausages and like $2 more for the patties at Safeway. Now, one thing I didn't show you guys at Whole Foods, I, I believe a box of oatmeal is about 3.30. Right now, none of these are on sale. Last week, these were on sale for like 179, and I got like four boxes because to get the 179 price, you had to get four boxes of oatmeal, so I, I got four boxes. But even if I came here, and I want to buy oatmeal today and it's not on sale. There's so much oatmeal to choose from. I could just find one that that's on sale. Like I could just look around and just find one that's cheaper. So there's just lots of options here. And the oatmeal is next to the baby diapers, which is, I guess that's just a Safeway thing. You put the oatmeal next to the baby diapers. Um, and then check out this like huge aisle of cereal you know there's so much cereal to choose from i don't usually eat cereal i'll eat cereal every now and then but i mean here if you if you wanted cereal it's just so much to choose from like i i, I just don't need that many options you know okay guys remember i said i don't ever get my pickles at uh, whole foods well this is why because i come here and pickles are much 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 cheaper i believe at whole foods they were like 3.99 or 4.99 for the cheapest one and here you can get pickles for 2.99 i think i'm actually gonna get give me some pickles you know pickle eating fool 
I mean, it's only two ninety nine. Okay, beans. So I believe I showed some beans over at Whole Foods, and these are the the prices for the beans here. Now these are all on sale, by the way. Um, so you have to have the card, and I guess these are these are not bad. Those are the organics, and a lot of these are on sale. Wow, what is that thing? This store is like crazy messy, by the way. Look at all this just stuff everywhere. Another long aisle. No, I definitely showed the tomatoes, like diced tomatoes and stuff like that. These are the prices here across the street at Whole Foods. I guess some of these can be slightly cheaper than Whole Foods, um, just comparing some of the prices. But when you get down to the organics, um, because I believe at Whole Foods I was showing the organic tomatoes, and these here are the non-organic. So if you compare the organic, um, I believe that Whole Foods is still a little bit cheaper because this is a dollar fifty, and I think at Whole Foods the organics were one twenty-five. And then I was also showing off the pasta sauce. And once again, here, there's just so much pasta sauce to choose from. So there's just there's just lots of options. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I mean, there's even local fancy stuff. You know, if you want to get some, some, <laughs> you want to get some from this woman or, or you want to try her pasta sauce. I mean, there's just a lot to choose from here. Um, and then when it comes to pasta itself, I believe at Whole Foods, the cheapest one I saw was uh, 99 cent for spaghetti. I don't know if I'll see, I don't know if I'll see that price here. I think the probably the cheapest we'll see is like 125. But uh, yeah, not even on the bottom. Like there's some long spaghetti for 199. But yeah, these are some of the prices. Maybe these. Oh yeah, if you get four of these, you can get it for 99 cents. But you gotta get four, which, I mean, do you need four? Maybe, if you're cooking for a party. I am gonna have pickles for breakfast. Yes, 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 there's nothing wrong with having pickles for breakfast. Okay, mushrooms. I pointed out mushrooms over on Whole Foods, and mushrooms is, uh, here are the mushroom prices here. I want to say they're about the same for what you get. Oh, no. These are eight ounces. I'm pretty sure across the street, if I'm not mistaken, across the street was 12 ounces. So they're kind of they're kind of jabbing you here. But once again, like some things are going to be cheaper at some places and some things are going to cost more in other places, so it's totally normal. I mean, if you wanted to, since these both of these grocery stores are across the street from each other, you can just go to one and get the cheapest things here and then go to the other one and get the cheapest things there. Um, I do like the selection of fruit because they have just an amazing large selection of delicious fruit, oranges and limes and yeah, it's just so, so many, you know? <laughs> I wanna get one, but these are so huge, I wanna get a smaller one. What about this one? Am I gonna make everything fall down? Okay, perfect. Yes. I mean, I have to buy something since I'm walking around talking to myself. Ooh, let's go check out the, ooh, how much is the garlic? So garlic is pretty cheap here. Now this is non-organic garlic. I believe across the street, I was showing off organic garlic. Um, this garlic is 79 cents each. That's super cheap. Oh wow, look at those pineapples. Those look really good. A dollar eighty-eight each. Oh, that's for the low, yo. Okay, so this aisle, stuff like never goes on sale. I'm very surprised to see garbage bags on sale. And if you look at the prices of garbage bags, they're freaking expensive. Like everything is like definitely strongly priced across the street here. I guess you can get bags for one forty-nine, but that's thirteen gallon. Um, yeah, 
And then um, let's get down to detergent. Now I would rather get detergent from Safeway because there's just so many more options to choose from instead of Whole Foods. Whole Foods, they're Safeway. I mean, Whole Foods, they're um, Whole Foods, their laundry and section is like from here to like here. And look at this at Safeway. It's like almost a whole row. And there's just a lot of options to choose from. Now, the prices aren't necessarily great prices, but you just get a much, much larger selection. One thing I figured out about um, grocery stores in the city, they have figured out that shoppers in the city usually shop like one day a week and they usually go to one place and they usually buy everything that they need for the week right then and there. Um, most city shoppers don't go from place to place to shop. Like someone in a place like LA where you have a car, you just go from place to place, you go here, you go there. Um, but in the city, most people, what they do is they'll usually just go to the store, get everything at one store, and after they get everything from one store, you know, if, if things are not on sale, they'll just still buy them. And grocery stores know this, and Safeway has been <laughs> making a killing off of this. So um, I thought I would um, point that out. But yeah, this is uh, the section in, in the grocery store. Now, I wasn't going to show the soda aisle because I didn't show the soda aisle in Whole Foods, but why not just show it off here because San Francisco is a, one of those places that has lots of taxes on sodas, so I thought I would just show you guys some of the pricing on sodas here. This here is a 12-pack of Coca-Cola for $9.43 for a 12-pack. Not on sale at all. Um... Let's see, Coca-Cola Mini, 10 pack, $4.99, you get a dollar off. Now there's also a, I think it's a 25%, 25 cent tax per can. So after you pay the $9.43, they tack on additional tax times 12 because there's 12 cans in the box. So it, it's actually almost $12 for the box after the taxes and everything. Um, here we go, Cherry Coke. If you get four or more, you get them for $14, $14. but once again, you're going to have to pay that tax 12 times four, whatever that is, because you're going to get four boxes, remember. Um, I guess this is probably a really good deal, but once again, you, you get a lot of cans. I usually just get these um, whenever I, you know, get soda i'll get like the the 20 pack or whatever and once again it's just a very very large selection versus whole foods across the street um this safeway store um if i'm not mistaken it's been here like like over 20 years and you know they, they've got a really good lease going on and it's one of the number one safeway stores in the country and yeah so it, this is a pretty popular store if i'm not mistaken this store is 24 hours they've talked about closing it and um, I think it's still 24 hours, which is very, very convenient if you live in the city. And it also has check out yourself. That's a long, that's a long receipt for two items. Let go. 